What is the most efficient string concatenation method in Python? Is there an efficient mass string concatenation method in Python, like string builder in C sharp or string buffer in Java? I found following methods here. Simple concatenation using plus. Using a string list and the join method. Using user string from the mutable string module. Using a character array and the array module. Using stringjo from the stringjo module. What should be used and why? A related question is here. You may be interested in this, an optimization anecdote by Guido. Although it is worth remembering also that this is an old article and it predates the existence of things like dot .join, although I guess string dot .join fields is more or less the same. On the strength of that, the array module may be fastest if you can shoehorn your problem into it. But dot .join is probably fast enough and has the benefit of being idiomatic and thus easier for other Python programmers to understand. Finally, the golden rule of optimization, don't optimize unless you know you need to, and measure rather than guessing. You can measure different methods using the tomate module. That can tell you which is fastest, instead of random strangers on the internet making guesses. If you know all components beforehand once, use the literal string interpolation, also known as f-strings or formatted strings, introduced in Python 3.6. Given the test case from Koistinen's answer, having strings, the contenders and their execution time on my computer using Python 3.6 on Linux, as timed by Ipython and the Timeite module are. The speed can be contrasted with the fastest method for Python 2, which is plus concatenation on my computer, and that takes 0.203s with 8-bit strings, and 0.259s if the strings are all Unicode. In alpha versions of Python 3.6, the implementation of f-strings was the slowest possible, actually the generated byte code is pretty much equivalent to the dot join, case with unnecessary calls to strd, underscore underscore format underscore underscore which without arguments would just return self unchanged. These inefficiencies were addressed before 3.6 final. Dot join, sequence underscore of underscore strings is what usually works best, simplest and fastest. It depends on what you're doing. After Python 2.5, string concatenation with the plus operator is pretty fast. If you're just concatenating a couple of values, using the plus operator works best. However, if you're putting together a string in a loop, you're better off using the list joining method. But notice that you have to be putting together a relatively high number of strings before the difference becomes noticeable. As per John Fuhi's answer, don't optimize unless you have to, but if you're here and asking this question, it may be precisely because you have to. In my case, I needed to assemble some URLs from string variables, fast. I noticed no one, so far, seems to be considering the string format method, so I thought I'd try that and, mostly for mild interest, I thought I'd toss the string interpolation operator in there for good measure. To be honest, I didn't think either of these would stack up to a direct plus operation or a dot join. But guess what? On my Python 2.7.5 system, the string interpolation operator rules them all and string.format is the worst performer. The results. If I use a shorter domain and shorter path, interpolation still wins out. The difference is more pronounced, though, with longer strings. Now that I had a nice test script, I also tested under Python 2.6, 3.3 and 3.4, here's the results. 
In Python 2.6, the plus operator is the fastest. On Python 3, join wins out. Note, these tests are very repeatable on my system. So, plus is always faster on 2.6, intp is always faster on 2.7 and join is always faster on Python 3.x. Lesson learned. Sometimes, my assumptions are dead wrong. Test against the system environment. You'll be running in production. String interpolation isn't dead yet. TLDR. If you're using Python 2.6, use the plus operator. If you're using Python 2.7, use the percent operator. If you're using Python 3.x, use dot join dot. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.